everybody. I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And I'm April. We are the Hustle Couple plus April with what's sold on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> Right on, how's everybody doing? Hi. Good, I hope. We're full-time resellers in Dallas, Texas, and we sold six things on eBay and 11 things on Poshmark. All right, eBay a little slow overnight, but. Yeah, we have some good sales over there, some really low dollar sales, but then some good ones. So I think, I think we're gonna be okay. Hopefully we're gonna hit our goal today. We shall see. Yes. I'm gonna start with Poshmark. Okay. Okay, the first thing is a bundle. Whenever someone bundles, I don't know if they're a viewer, so I'll say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you leave me a message, I will say thank you by name. Um, okay, the first thing is that Max Studio dress, 5951. All right. All right, and this is a jersey uh, striped dress. It's blue and white, and it has some embellishment on the front of it. And that is the kind of thing that we are selling these days. Blue and white is so in right now, especially stripes. I'm going to show them. It's kind of striped. I thought it was more striped than it was. This is um, Nua Tags. Columbia something, something. Oh, that's right. And it's a shift dress, meaning there's no waist. It's just a big rectangle. It's beautiful. I think this came from the bins. This brand is sold a lot at, like, TJ Maxx. And, um... You stand right here. We don't pick it up a ton, but if we can get it for a dollar new tags, I think we, we're gonna be okay here. All right. Back to me. I don't know that I would spend money on that at the thrift, like three or four dollars. Somebody said our version of paying up is way different than theirs, and yeah. that is so true. Depending on where you live, thrift prices can be insane. Luckily in Dallas, they're pretty low still. Uh, the next is a Columbia fleece that we've had for a very long time. It's pink and gray, and uh, kind of like a North Face. Remember these pullover fleeces? It's lightweight. Um, and the bundle together sold for $29. There is a drop down category on eBay if you're looking for it called fleece. So, for the fabric type. We are really crammed in here today. <laughs> like extra crammed. Four, nine, two, six. Here we go. You want to open you have a knife somewhere? So we just listed 100 pairs of shoes, as we told you, and um, one of them sold on Poshmark. These are Lambertson 2X kitten heel Ooh. sandals, right? Very cute. Uh, I've never sold this brand before. If you want to show them the label, maybe we can find it. It sold pretty quickly, and I think they're all leather. That's upside down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and it sold for $25. I mean, I think that's okay for a quick flip. We got these shoes, quote unquote, for free. And, um, can you help? Yes, I got it. And so everything with Poshmark goes into a priority uh, mailer. And you can get these for free at the USPS.com. That's one of the greatest things. If you're a baby reseller, Poshmark is where you start because everything is free as far as shipping supplies go. And um, it makes it really easy to bundle because you don't have to really weigh anything as long as it's not over five pounds. Then we're good. Um, oh, he's going to put those in a padded flat rate. Cool. Okay, great. Next is a brand that used to do so well for us, and it's, it's a little bit on its way out now. This is a Show Me Your Moo Moo tank top, but the style of this is really in right now. It's a cropped, uh, kind of like ruffled edge layered tank top. And the Show Me Your Moo Moo, it's so good. There is a robe that is a white with pink floral on it that you do not want to get. It's from the FabFitFun boxes. And it's at every thrift store ever. <laughs> so the market is super saturated in those robes. And I do not recommend picking them up. But the other show me your movie things, depending on your cost of goods, can be okay. We've had this a long time. And it finally sold on Poshmark for $11. Okay. Um, we shop primarily now at estate sales. We used to thrift. 
and now we do estate sales. And the good thing about estate sales is you're buying a whole closet of someone and a lot of times it'll be the same size and the same styles. So that makes it very easy for people to bundle in your closet or your eBay store. So if you, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot more bundles as of late. You okay? Yeah. Got a bad stick. <laughs> I believe in you. And so the next thing on Poshmark is a four piece bundle of all different brands, but all the same size and style, right? So that's probably an estate sale win. This might be a viewer. What's the name on the next label? Let's just thank this person. Vicenta. We're gonna just thank you because I, you might be a viewer. Thank you. <laughs> all right, the first thing is this Chico's top. Here we go. Oh, we've been selling so much Chico's. This is a stretch. Uh, it's very, very stretchy, actually, like a bathing suit, it feels like. And it has this, I don't know, bohemian print. It's kind of paisley, but kind of makes media. <clears throat> it's a pretty shirt. I like it. It's got a keyhole detail. Just noticed that. That's that. We can see it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a keyhole detail. And it's really nice. That's a nice shirt. The next is Eileen Fisher. Miss Eileen. Come on, Eileen. This is a plum viscose boxy fit blouse. And we're gonna show you what that looks like. Yes, actually this is like long. This is a dress, it's like the a right thing. Tunic. Yeah, I think it's a tunic. Let me make sure this is right. I know it was a plum purple color. I get all nervous. You're saying the right thing. I'm gonna tell you the title in it of it anyway. Oh. It's okay. <coughs> uh, yep. I'm just making sure it's the right. <laughs> I'm nervous. It looks so long. I moved these and I'm still. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Everything's in crammed. My head all now. We're moving to the garage. Uh, if you want to see our TikToks of the move. Yeah, it's the right thing. So I titled this Eileen Fisher size medium plum viscose jersey long sleeve boat neck tunic top stretch. So a tunic top is longer than a shirt, but shorter kind of than a dress. Are we okay on your watch? Yeah. No. No. Yes. I, I can't tell. Okay, well, I don't... You have to get up close and personal and check it. Mm. Yeah, timer still going. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's not. Okay, it's back. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're so crammed. Okay. Next is Catherine Bacon. This is a cool brand. We got a bunch of this stuff. We do not find it very often at all. April show. This is a Catherine Bacon. It's the same people that wear Eileen Fisher. Used to wear Catherine Bacon a lot. It's kind of a similar situation. Catherine Bacon burgundy dolman sleeve jersey tunic top. One size fits most. I typically hate that sizing, but in this case, since it's really stretchy, we'll go with it. A dolman sleeve is dropped from the shoulder and like starts further down the arm. That's what that means. Yeah. And the final thing is a Chico size one US eight top. It's new a tag, so that's good. And it is printed on the back, pleated back top, white st stretch knit shirt. Lord, that's not cool. <laughs> Blue and white. Oh. Isn't it pretty? This is pretty. So that's a slub knit on the front and on the back is blue and white print pleated. So it's a mixed media top because the fabrics are different. Sewn together. Very nice. And there is a tag, yeah. Okay, that bundle sold all in for $118. Yeah. Yay! Okay, 
This is a big one. I don't know whether we should take it out of here or not. The next is a Bogner ski jacket. And it is humongo. And it's shoved into this box. Should we keep it in there? Or should we, we should look at it, huh? I mean... Yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay, we got it at the bins. Bogner's a really great ski brand, but this jacket's missing the hood, and it's we've had it a long time, I think because of the hood issue. It sold for $30. I think we had it listed way higher, but finally went for 30 Oh, wow. Yeah, it's big. Fire and Ice is the line from Bogner. It's a really nice coat. Just didn't have the hood. Very cool. We're not afraid of buying coats at the bins, that's for sure. There you go. Yeah, it has that B in the circle. That's how you know it's a Bogner. You want a regional for that? Or you're good. You're good. It's good. <laughs> And I don't think we need to put plastic on it since it's made for the elements, right? Right. This one we will. Yeah. It's a nice coat. I wish I had a hood. Now we know to look for things like that. We just didn't know. We don't really ski. So it wasn't like, oh, it doesn't have a hood. Is it supposed to have a hood? I think so, because literally in the title yeah, it says no hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of, kind of, <laughs> I think most ski coats Yeah, have it's a got hood. a zipper. It zips off. And I think we've left really nice, like, North Face coats behind because they didn't have a hood. You learn. With everything you bring into your house, you learn something. Yeah. And now we learn. But this 30 bucks is good for a bins purchase. Okay, next we have a sport coat from Giorgio Armani. And we've had this a while, so it did go for a low price. I still haven't risen the prices on Poshmark. I really need to do that today, but we've just been in garage land, so. Uh, this is a window pane sport coat. That's what this pattern is called with the big wide squares on it. It is a two button single breasted. Hold back with the camera. Yay. Good. It's wool. It's a very nice lined, made in Bulgaria. And then the brand. Oh, it's a super 130, so that's awesome. This so, camera's got me all backwards. I know, I know. I do the same thing. <laughs> there we go. Yep, and then what's on the other side? Giorgio Armani, Emporio Armani. Uh, a lot of men's sport coats, and I say this all the time, but if you're new to thrifting and reselling, you might not know. Men's sport coats come in high-end brands on the regular, and they can be sold at places like Dillard's, things where you wouldn't expect. So what I would caution you against doing, this sport coat sold for $35, which, what did we pay for it? $350. $350. But you might get excited and see Emporio Armani and be like, oh my gosh, it's Armani. And you might be tempted to pay up. And I mean like $20, 30 $40. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I, think, I think when we were um, baby resellers, that was kind of our impetus. We would be like, oh my gosh, it's designer. This is going to make us hundreds of dollars. In men's sport coats, it's not all are created equal. The things that are going to make you the most money are going to be brands that you don't recognize. Yep. It's going to be a brand like a Brioni or a Chitin, and you're going to be like, what's this? It's not going to be your Armani's, your YSL's, and your Burberry's like that. Those will make you money. I think it's a really good opportunity to make money in the men's department, but they're not going to make you the big bucks that you think. Right. It's not like the same as women's wear. Maybe... If we're talking Louis Vuitton or something, okay. But odds are that's probably not going to be a real one at your thrift anyway. Um, so just be really careful and look everything up. We're happy to get 35 for this. Yeah. But if we had paid 35 for it, we would have a big problem. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
And the final thing is from Poshmark is Chico's. This is just a basic Chico's. It's a black jersey knit uh, top. Yeah, and it's uh, new with tags. A lot of the Chico's we got is new with tags. Stretchy, a bit slinky, <laughs> bouncy. I love that. The ultimate tee. Cool. So, and the good thing, that sold for $21. The good thing about Chico's is that uh, people know what size they wear and they know what style they like. And if it's new with tags and they can get it for half a retail, I find them, you know, easier to sell. So it's good. We got a lot of Chico's recently in a big estate sale hall and we were a little disappointed at first yep. <laughs> at first but then we looked last night and we've sold nearly half of the chicos that we've listed in less than a month so it's moving and now we're not so sad <laughs> you learn right yeah we would have never thrifted chicos before now we pick it up at the bins so you live and you learn okay we're moving on to ebay which is some not great sales, but some great ones. The first thing is this board game that we parted out. We don't recommend doing this unless it's a really popular game. We've had this forever. Yeah. This is a Star Wars uh, Monopoly, I think. Yeah. yeah. Board game. <laughs> uh, the board game was not complete, so Dan parted it out, and yep. I don't know if this is the last piece to sell or the first piece. It's been here a long time, and we paid 12 cents for it. Sold for $5, <laughs> plus shipping, though. Gonna be okay. Yeah, All right. Uh, you can part out board game pieces, particularly like specialty ones or vintage ones, but I wouldn't make your whole business model on that. I don't know if you can make enough money doing that. Uh, the next one is another low dollar sale, but happy to be leaving our house. When we go to the garage, we're moving our office. Uh, we are definitely going to get rid of a lot of stuff. This low dollar stuff is going to just get donated we just haven't had an opportunity to do that yet nine ounces okay you want to show them this this is a liberty of <laughs> london paisley silk tie and it sold for six dollars plus shipping and it's nice liberty of london is a fabric house in england and some of their vintage stuff can do really well, particularly in women's wear. They have a lot of ditzy floral prints. And you'll remember Liberty of London because we sell the collab with J. Crew. The button-down shirts that are the Liberty fabric do really, really well for us. The vintage ties that are Paisley, maybe not so much. We've had this a very long time, and we have a couple more, and they have not sold. But this one did sell for $6 plus $4.99 shipping. We have $1 into it. It's been listed since 2021. <laughs> there we go, though. The next thing is a Chico's top we listed last night. It was the first thing we listed and the first thing that sold. Oopsie. We have those little guys in the, the bubbles. Oh, this is adorable. It's a little small, I guess. It's in half. It's a tie. Uh, this is a sleeveless. Um, Chico's women's size one, US eight, no, no iron top, striped floral button sleeveless stretch. And this sold for $20. Cute. Yes. Love the Chicos. We got a banger at the end, so stay tuned. so little on eBay. We are um, shipping in the morning again. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, which is very, very early for us. These are Nayot Women's 39 US 8 Metal Leather Paris Sandal Adjustable Strap Comfort Shoe. We keep selling these. This is the Israeli brand. We sold some yesterday as well. And these sold for $50 on an offer. They're nice. 
real nice. Those nail shoes are going in a padded flat rate envelope. Uh, these are Eileen Fisher Sport. Oh. Oh, Women's sport size nerd. seven shoes, new buck leather wedges. And they sold for $30. I mentioned it before, but the Eileen Fisher shoes don't resell for as much as I think that they would, being as that they're such a high retail price. And a lot of Eileen Fisher does so well for us, but the shoes are generally a little bit lower in value. I'm just pointing that out. They did sell though. We've sold two pairs so far. So that's good. Thank you. And these are also going in a padded flat rate envelope. So if you want to check out our TikTok, it's linked <laughs> below. Yeah. And it's showing you day by day the progress we're making on the garage. It's very embarrassing to me because <laughs> it looks like a hoarder garage. But you have to remember I work in theater and film. So it's full of costumes and props and reselling and everything. <clears throat> yeah, we don't know. Probably, probably. And um, so you can check us out there every single day. April's doing a great job making that. You always sold another Nacho Libre pen. Sold the other pen. <laughs> this is the other one. It does work. I pressed it before it dances. Should I press Don't it? Don't waste the battery. I know, but like, should we make <laughs> right, sure it works? give it one. Give it one. Nacho! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cult classic movie starring Jack Black, and we found a junk bag full of these and a handful of them worked and we listed them some of them don't work and we also listed them uh and this sold for eighty dollars what yes. second one that sold for 80 bucks oh my god <laughs> so definitely keep your eye out for cult classic movie memorabilia some of the stuff went really popular with like napoleon dynamite and the office and things. those are things i'm i'm not so sure about but like Nacho Libre was like a very, very niche film with Jack Black. It's a weird. This box is huge, but whatever. I think that's what you shifted in last time. Yeah, I was about to, and then you gave me another one that was flatter, but still large. Oh, yeah. Um, and anyway, so keep your eye out for things like that because here, do you want this big box? Yeah. No. Uh, things like that, that where you can't get it anymore, or promotional items. You know, people really, really dig it, and they'll pay money. They'll pay really good money for it if that's their favorite movie of all time or something. Uh, the the bad part is you cannot replace the batteries in those. So once they're done, they're done. That's why Dan's like, don't waste the battery. Yeah. Give you options. I can't believe that went for $80. 80 bucks That's for a crazy. pen. I probably could have gotten more for it, actually. Mm -hmm. I've never even seen the movie. There was this, there's this, so I found a sold comp for a sealed one in the package mm -hmm. with no sound, and it sold for 150 bucks. Whoa. Sealed, but no sound. That's wild. Ours have sound. <laughs> I mean, fast nickel, dime. Yeah. Four ounces on that guy. There's a, there's a saying. Fast nickel, slow dime. All right. That's what it is. All right. On to the labeling portion of the video. And then we're going outside to take every single thing out of the garage. I don't think, knock on wood, it's going to rain today. <laughs> but you never know. 
keep checking because it keeps changing. It still says sunny. It's been raining since May 1st, and it's May 17th. Every day has been a chance of rain. So today's the first day with no rain, and tomorrow it says no rain. So we can leave stuff out overnight, which is huge. First up is the Star Wars board game board. Zero, zero, 005. It's like the eBay stuff needs to go in the smaller bag today. Goodness. Patty Flat Rate, 4902. Patty Flat Rate, 4943. And the natural V rate pen. Ooh. Short video today. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to happen sometimes. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, stick around so you can see how much profit yes. we made today. Be back in just a minute. I'm gonna bring these out to the other Look at these two. What are you doing? You guys sleeping? Snuggling? Oh, Jeremy. You feeling better today, buddy? You getting over your kitty cold? Yeah? All right, I gotta run to the post office. You guys say bye to your friends. Good boy, bye. Hi. Hey. I'm still putting things in. I'm almost done. Okay. But if you want to see the Vendu interface, yeah, how let's I take do a it. look. So I'm just putting the inventory number up here, and then I'm clicking on the listing, going to the, the tab that says Poshmark, and I'm going market sold. As I do that, everything else is going to delist, but I manually have to market sold. Got Eleven dollars. Cost of goods was one ninety nine. Four ninety seven fees. So not a great profit here, but it'll tell you right up here what your profit was, $4.04 profit on that, and then it delist here and here. Okay. So I just keep repeating this. Uh, we do use a ticket system. If you want to describe that, that'd be great. Somebody was asking questions about that. There are a couple of videos, though. Right. Yeah, it's just a redundancy that we use. So each item gets a ticket right there. It's got the inventory number, how much we paid for it, and then we fill in what it's sold for, the fees, and the shipping and then we also just write down the profit again this is just redundancy for us to help help with our process and bookkeeping and keeping yeah. things delisted because if we didn't do this every day oh, i'd get out of hand we have major <laughs> issues with double selling <clears throat> things yeah uh and anyway you could do this on a spreadsheet a lot of people do we just prefer these ticket system. We just use a receipt printer that we picked up at Staples and it's a thermal, so you don't have to replace the ink, just the paper. And that's just what we do. It's just a way to like keep a record of what we have sold. Yep. And I need something tangible and I know not everybody is like that and that's fine, but I am like that. All right. all right so i've inputted all these i just paper clip them to the pick list and we put them in a box we never look at them again it's right unless just something goes wrong and we have to look back for yeah. something or... it's just not something we normally have to do these just get filed away yeah. and it's just for me to sit here and take them down literally i have to touch the ticket and be like okay this sold i'm going to take it down this sold i'm going to take it down yeah, right. and how much profit having Having to write the profit for me is such a process. 
Because, like on this, Star Wars Monopoly board game, I literally had to write with my pen $2.32. <laughs> and in my head, I don't like that. Right. And I'm like, I'm never getting that again. Like, yep. I really learn the lesson when I have to look at the profit. If you're just mass deleting and putting like blah, 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 and you're not figuring out your profit on each item, I don't think the health of your business will be at its best. The health of our business is at its best when we can self-reflect and look. So I made two thirty-two on the Monopoly. I made three eight three forty-two on the tie. I'm like, I'm not getting those anymore. I'm not. Right. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Um. So the sale price can tell you one thing, like, oh, it sold for a low price, or oh, it took me a long time to sell. But the actual profit number is what's going to matter here. Thirteen sixties on the thirteen dollars and sixty cents profit on the Chico's sleeveless. We listed that last night in five minutes live yeah. and then it sold within an hour so like yeah that was worth it 13 bucks just sitting there on the floor thank you yeah uh the nail shoes that sold for 50 our profit was 33.87 i really need to look at the comps for these i think i'm pricing them too low okay but but i wouldn't know that unless i looked and i'm like 33.87 like that seems low for those shoes yeah um, Eileen Fisher shoes 2346. That seems okay to me from the comps I've been looking at. The Nacho Libre pen, we made $65.67. Fantastic. Chico's Black Scoop Tea, we made $11.19. Again, it took us five minutes to list it, and it was $11. Is it worth it for me? Maybe, maybe not, but we have the stuff, so right now it is worth it. The Bogner coat, we made $20.31. We bought it at the Vins, and it's been sitting in our house for two years because we also put the date on here. That helps us because I can look and be like, this was listed for two years for $20. No, thank you. Never again. And why? Because it didn't have the hood. Tons of interest in that garment. Nobody bought it because it didn't have the hood. The Armani window pane, it's been listed for two years, $22.49 profit. The Chico's pleated tee, 1981 profit. So that was great. Chico's Mixed Media Tunic, 1950 profit, great. Eileen Fisher, Viscose, Jersey Top, 1650 profit. Here's where I start to get a problem. We paid 659 for that at an estate sale. That estate sale had a tons of Eileen Fisher, but perhaps we should have spent 659 and only gotten pants because we spent 659 on each thing. And then on these shirts, I'm profiting like 11 to $20 only, but on the pants, I'm profiting like 40 or $50. Same 659 spent. I wouldn't know that. I would just be like, oh, we're selling all the Eileen Fisher. Buy all the Eileen Fisher. Instead, I'm like, oh, maybe I need to be a little more discerning with my Eileen Fisher because these jersey tops aren't bringing in the money that the pants are. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That self-reflection is so important. The Catherine Bacon, 20 bucks profit. We had that a very long time. Look, 2021, very long time. I had it overpriced. Uh, show me your Moo 199 four dollars profit on a mm -hmm. show me your movie which every reseller back in the day was like that's the best brand ever for four bucks nope <laughs> uh the lamberson truex sandals 25 we made 14.39 on those it was a quick sale would i pick them up at the thrift i don't know is 14 dollars enough for shoes they take a little bit longer for us to list and clean columbia pullover we had since march 6 of 2021 this was on a dollar day and we're like "Ooh, columbia on a dollar day ten dollars and sixty cents for storing that for three years okay bye two years the max studio dress 10.89 profit all right i think profit is the number if you're watching youtubers and they're not giving you your profit or your cost of goods actually courtney's video was talking about this today courtney at common tags i was watching her chatty video today this morning and she was talking about that too watching youtubers that don't give you their cost of goods yeah personal choice but it's not that valuable. Right. Red flag. <laughs> All right. So let's see how we did for the day. So I'm going to go over here to the inventory. I mean, to the analytics tab. And today. Oh, look at that. Just barely squeaking over the goal line. Uh, 17 items, $311 profit, $493 in sales. If we had spent more on the goods, this profit number could be super low and you would never know. Because we'd be like almost $500 in sales on a Wednesday, you know? Yeah. You would have no idea. Yeah. But now I'm telling you that our cost of goods was such and the fees, we ended up pocketing $311 and that's our daily goal is $300 profit. We made it. Whew. 
Live to see another day. <laughs> Thank you for the Nacho Libre pen. For real, that saved the day. It really saved the day because sales are still slow. Do what you got to do. You notice this number of listed items is zero. I have not cross-listed today. I need to sit here for five minutes and do that. In Vendu, it literally takes five minutes to cross-list everything we listed yesterday. So I'll do that really quickly. And then hopefully we'll spur some sales on Poshmark. All right. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And we've got another channel. We, we do sure live do. listing on eBay every Monday through Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Come hang out. You might learn something. Bye. Bye.